What about the defense? What do you you know? It was a tale of two halves. First half, boy, they looked dominant. Second half, a couple of scoring drives, and you just kind of were scratching your head, going, "Where the where the defense from the first half go to?" And I realize it's the NFL, and the Broncos have players, but um, what was your biggest takeaway with the defense? I think when they play aggressive is when they're at their best. I think when they sit back and you know try and make teams kind of like dink and dunk get short amounts of yardage on them that's when they run into some problems when they play a downhill football with those guys that they have especially at safety with grant help and ronnie harrison john johnson the third they're all great playing downhill and when jok is healthy there's another guy that you want to have play downhill so not seeing them do that in the second half was a little concerning and once they that kind of happened that's when denver kind of got back into the football game but what we saw against Denver was they have a really good running back combination in Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams. They co- that team combined for 40, just 41 yards rushing on 14 carries. So the Browns took the run game away, made Teddy Bridgewater try to beat them by himself. And if he got the ball back in the fourth quarter, who knows what could have happened. But I think the Browns did just enough, I think, to get the job done. The pick in the end zone by John Johnson was, was just massive they've been trying to get turnovers for so long this season and johnson i thought really turned in his best performance with the browns 